Goodwill slash thrift shop workers, what are some of the strangest things you've found in the donations? I was a receiving and loading lead at a thrift store for a few years. We had this guy that cleaned out storage units for a living, and then he'd dump whatever he couldn't flip with us for a tax slip. He pulls up, and we are going through it all. Pretty nice stuff. Looked like it was an estate sale. We get it all unloaded, and then we start snooping through, to see what needs, to get brought to where, and we find this green glass vase filled with sand. I started pouring the sand out into the trash, so we could figure, if the vase was worth using. That's not sand. Somehow we ended up with an unmarked, for learn. Well, you can now say the last person that got in your way ended up in the trash. A grinder with weed still in it, and somehow suitcase full of dildos made it onto the floor, and was brought to our attention by an elderly lady, who was wanting to purchase the suitcase, but didn't want the extra stuff inside. I still think a customer had to have somehow snuck a bag of dildos in, and dump them there, since anything going to the floor is opened and sprayed with disinfectant. Plus it was heavy so it definitely would have been opened, if it arrived that way. Either way it made for an interesting day at work. Dang you were lucky to have been able to keep it. At our goodwill, when I still worked there it's had to go into the safe, and into goodwill's pockets. I was a bad worker, and would just pocket it. I worked in donations. In the same day we got a pickled baby tiger shark and a coin purse made from a kangaroo scrotum. As an Australian the kangaroo scrotum coin purse isn't at all unusual not that I know anyone who uses one. But you can buy one in any souvenir store here. When I was about 16 I worked at Goodwill for about 6 months. There was this old homeless man who used to try and sneak inside to sleep and stuff like that. Every day he'd get kicked out pretty quick by one of my female coworkers. After about a month of working there with her, the homeless man came up to the counter she was working at, gave her a target bag filled with rocks, and left. We open the bag and find a doll underneath about a layer of rocks. It was so friggin creepy. The doll looked exactly like her. We flipped it over, and the back had her full name sewn into it. She quit about a couple days later, because she was worried about that homeless man coming back to the store. This is the start of a horror movie. This homeless man, obviously a vengeful spirit, has most likely haunted this woman into ruin and an early grave. Without a job, she probably became homeless, couldn't find anywhere to sleep, and froze to death. Textbook case. My aunt's a cop, and had to go investigate a donated hand grenade, semicolon. Not something I found particularly but something very strange. Every month and a half or so, a man would come by right before we closed, and would donate a single blank CD. Every single time, my coworkers and I would always put it in, and see if anything was on it. There never was. Blank because he erased the evidence off of it, and used your shop, to get rid of the discs, so the data couldn't be recovered, and he couldn't be found with the erased discs in his trash. I feel like it'd make more sense, to dump it in just a random public trash, rather than some way he'd be recognized by the staff. Or just goddamn burn it, it's plastic. Microwave it. There's literally too many ways, to dispose of a CD, even just looking at it too intensely will make it break. My car just fucking ate six of the damn things at once. Someone donated an entire trash bag full of dirty diapers, sex toys, lots of sex toys, some older and more naive. Workers actually priced them and put them in the sales floor. An old electronic chess board that was somehow worth dollar sign 2000 plus. Some rich old lady came in and donated a Ziploc bag full of gold and platinum jewelry. It was real. Huge beanie baby collections. Guess someone finally figured out after 20 years that they weren't a solid investment. It's something you hear about, but I never really saw before. Maybe not the strangest, but you actually do find some cool old shit people think is worthless. Cool job for a while. One time, someone donated a book, some country singer's autobiography I believe, that had been massively defaced by a complete lunatic. That's not a great description. But fortunately I took pictures. Link in description. Utterly fucking insane. I didn't meet the donor, because I was at lunch at the time. But my coworker said they seemed completely normal. I'm glad I scrolled far enough down for this one. Someone has issues. We've had some nipple clamps on a chain. A rampant rabbit with car charger. A jug in the shape of a tit and a book with a hole in it, that you stick your dick in for a novelty puppet show. Oh and there was also a mobile phone with a bunch of photos of a local policeman wearing his girlfriend's underwear. I securely deleted those. He owes me a get out of jail free card for that. 
you have to keep copies. So when he pulls you over you say, I deleted these for you, and I'll delete these too if you say, have a nice day. But I mean that is extortion, so you may go to jail as well. A high school diploma still in its leather case. We were selling it for $1.39. Also a porn movie inside a Clifford the Big Red Dog DVD case. I really wanna make a Big Red Dong joke, but I'm not sure of the best way to phrase it. Clifford the Big Red Dong destroys little blonde chihuahua name of the porno I just watched last night. I found a full Tommy Lee Jones 2 face suit, I look fantastic in it, only $15, here it is in all its glory, link in description. Oh my god, you do look fantastic in it. I did find a shirt with a huge picture of a dead fly on it. That's a keeper. I was sorting out some donated items, and come across an unusual set of tools. Through some research, we discovered that it was a full transorbital lobotomy tool set. It got donated to a local university for display. Apparently, a vintage set in good condition can sell for around $1,000. Umeo Watu has a full transorbital lobotomy tool set just laying around. Moreover, who just donates something like that without any explanation of what it is? Pretty cool though I guess. Probably deceased older relative who was a doctor. Lobotomies were done not all that long ago. Dirty laundry. It happened so often. That we had to wear gloves to go through clothing. Washed everything at least once to be safe. Who gets stoned wearing their underwear and is like. Meh I'll donate it. And not wash it. Who donates underwear? You'd be surprised. It happened on a regular basis. Gross. Burn it. Burn it all. Used journals. Highlights include someone recounting the time they bit someone, and a tale of an explosive funeral. They make for a good read, but why wouldn't you throw them out? My coworker found a 12 year old's journal. It was a gold mine of middle school drama. Also had a lot of stories about Jacob from Twilight, and wishing she was a werewolf. We read through the whole book and cried laughing. I think years from, now that same girl will wonder where that journal is, and desperately wish she had it again. I'm so glad I was never able to keep the journal beyond a few days. My journals would be way more embarrassing than wolf girls. A classmate of mine found a human skull that was donated. It still had remnants of human on it. They reported it to the police and turns out it was part of an active murder investigation one state over. I need more details. Unfortunately I don't have too many, because it was just a side story in class. But apparently at another store across town they found other parts of the body. He said they never found the killer. But they did find a lot of body parts at several Goodwill stores. Goodwill hunting. Finally a question I can answer. I once found a signed first edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Strange and why would anyone give it away? Managed to buy it for 50p and it's honestly my prized possession today. You do know that it's worth thousands, right? I know, I've had it valued a few times. The plan RN is to hold on to it until there's major hype around Harry Potter slash Rowling. Maybe if remake, if ever produced or something like that. Yep or if she dies, it'll go up in value then. Very sad obviously, but dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign. I manage a thrift store in NorCal that supports a cat rescue organization. We get strange donations all the time. Such as, sex toys, from whips to ball gags to vibrators and more. More than a couple times a week. Ashes. I've got a bag here in my office, that has some guy from Florida in it. I keep him around. He wards off ghosts and angry customers. Printed money. One time someone dropped off a backpack full of obviously copied money on big sheets of paper. Secret service came out, and got it and everything. We get disgusting stuff too. Here is a good one. Link in description. Some middle-aged lady donated a bag of clothes from her son's room. This shirt was on top. It stank so bad I still dry heave thinking about it. It's hard to see on the picture, but those are yellow stains all over the shirt. We get lots of interesting old stuff. Victorian cat collar. A 1800s French tapestry. Old Sears magazines. Vintage records. 8 tracks etc. We recently got a set of dishes that commemorated a state university. Someone bought them for $900. Didn't even know such a thing existed, before we got them. Someone donated an old Mac from the mid-90s that still worked. We fired it up, and it had all sorts of personal stuff on it. We wiped it and sold it. Remember to wipe your drives people. A few weeks ago we got a reproduction had a Fang LOTR sword. Pretty cool. I love working here. 
It's always something new and interesting. TL. Doctor. Sex toys. Disgusting stuff. Old stuff. Human remains. Even ghosts and suburban mothers are scared of Florida man. Found a cup shaped like a man with a giant erect dick. Snickered at it, and pointed it out to my co-workers, while we were clocking out. My manager freaked out, and took it off the shelf. I feel bad, that I got dick man cup taken off the market. I'm sure somebody would have treasured him. My manager said she came to the shop once and there were, bin bags waiting at the front of the store. It was obvious to her going through the bag, that a guy had just tipped all of his, ex-girlfriend's possessions into bin bags, and had donated them to us. All of her possessions, vibrators included was doing community service at a goodwill. A Vietnamese guy pulls up drops off a couple trash bags and ifs. We start looking through it all, and I find a full 90 quart bottle of 10 mg oxycodone pills. So how was the rest of your week? He doesn't remember. A trio of mariachi band figurines, that were made of prunes. Wait are you sure it wasn't the California raisins? I guess there's technically four of them though. It's the slash r slash Kropi off Bruns version. Acapulco prunes. I was 16, and in charge of going through donations, pricing them, and putting them out for sale. I came across something I didn't recognize, so I did what I always did, and slapped $0.25 on it, and put it out. A few hours later a lady brought it back to my boss in the donation room, and told her we shouldn't be selling crack pipes. Oops. Damn is that what people usually do? Who knows what I can find for $0.25. Maybe I should start checking out Goodwills. Wife worked there as a teenager. Worst thing she found was a newborn baby who just passed. A woman high on drugs gave birth in the street. Freaked out and dumped her baby there. Wife found the baby. Called police. And the woman was arrested for neglect among other charges. Managed to dodge murder charges somehow. Unreal. I wouldn't be able to handle something like that. Your poor wife. That poor child. I found a ton of weird stuff. The old ladies I worked with called stuffed animals backroad stuffers, and I always thought it was strange. Well one day we get a big box, to apostrophe x two feet, labeled stuffers. They opened it up, and it was full of dildos, but plugs, handcuffs, all kind of sex toys. I've never heard so much hootin' and hollerin' in my life. Sounded like a pack of coyotes. I didn't know they literally meant stuffers. I was a stoker, not working directly with donations. But goddamn, so many people donate vibrators. All the way from top of the line Hitachi magic ones to retro lil metal things that look like a wii emote. My ex worked at a value village and said the amount of people who donated shit slash blood slash cum covered clothes or items was unbelievable. At Dead Animals, worked at Goodwill for like two months when I was 16. What the fuck? I've read here that ashes of cremated loved ones is a super common donation. Lots of people just think it's a vase at recently deceased Aunt Bertha's house, not realizing it actually contains the earthly remains of her husband Chuck. I imagine there are plenty of people who donate it fully knowing what it is. Serious question. What are underscore you supposed to do with ashes you no longer uh, want? My grandmother was one of nine kids, but through various weird reasons. My mom is the only surviving descendant in her generation of any of them. We have 17 vases of ashes, most of those siblings, several of their spouses, as well as a couple from older generations. She barely knew any of those people. I never knew any of those people. What are we supposed to do with them? Just keep a dead family shelf in the basement forever? You can pay for a plot at a cemetery and get a tombstone that says the family name on it. Otherwise yes you will have a dead family shelf like you guys are in The Sims. Or just dump them in a lake, and give them a burial at a... lake. Tampons, new and used, and a camel hair coat with $750 in one of the pockets. We knew who donated it, so we gave it right back. I once found a few thousand locked in a suitcase. There was also some mail in there, so we contacted the owners a few times over a period of a month. No response so I got to keep some of it. Store policy as any found money you get 30%. What they don't tell anyone is they cap it at $300, and take the rest. They get 70%, a policy like that is enough to convince me to shut up, and slip it in my pocket. Damn. You see, I kind of ruined that plan, when I popped it open, and said out loud oh fuck that's a lot of money. 
not a worker, but at the local Salvation Army I opened a drawer, and found a youth tampon. By our hazard. The English title is Resident Evil. Not me but my cousin. In a big dump of stuff found an entire box of dildos. Like, all kinds. From vibrator ones to ones clearly made from specific molds. In this box of absurdity was one with like, 30 condoms on it. Weirdest shit I ever saw. OFC they threw them away.